ับฟุตฟอกวกันแน่ซะฮัลโหลทุกคนเราอยู่ที่ทะเลกลับที่ทะเลทั้งไปทั้งไปจำได้ไหมทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลทะเลท I keep hearing the that little squirrel's giving it away, right? Back there somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. Man, I'm on a mission <laughs> to shoot this video. I was actually going to make a trip to the lake, but that didn't happen. I got there. There's structures back here. Um, I got there, and there was a lot of. Fishermen <laughs> and a lot of boats, and most of the uh, camping stalls and picnic tables—they were all taken up. And uh, I actually didn't feel like having an audience there as I—I I did my little bit of talking that I need to do here for all of you. It's been a while since I've been here, 
and I needed to come back here anyway. I did not bring the treats or the gifts though, but they do know I'm here. They did respond with a vocal, right? And so they know, they know it's me, they know I'm here. I keep thinking that's a whistle, but I'm thinking that's a bird. But keep your eyes and your ears open because they will come forward. Uh, tapping. Yeah. Uh, tapping. Yeah. Um, now that they know I'm here. Quick snap behind my truck. Okay. Um, and that, uh, tweak snap, um, came from on the other side of my truck. And I keep hearing, like, walking coming towards me, but I, can't see, I don't see anything yet. Yet. Okay. I'm hearing it straight behind my head. <laughs> oh, 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 it is so squatchy here in this place. Um, and it's always. There's always so much going on here when I get here. Uh, we might take a trip, a little walk back in there behind me. Um, so I am here for an important reason, uh, not just and brakes, new brakes. As I mentioned, I'm here for a very important reason. This is important too, of course, this is important, right? Very, very important. When I come and visit these groups, I visit these clans, and this is the furthest downriver location that I go to here at the river. Um, I believe there's three different groups here in a row, and I think they're extended family, right? And the family, right? Okay, we need to go closer to the river. Uh, let's see. There's a lot of stuff going on here today. I'll keep talking.
<laughs> oh my beautiful here folks so beautiful it is amazing as soon as I get here it's an immediate uh, stress release any anxiety any stress uh, what have you is just it just disappears when I get here Amazing. Uh, it's beautiful here. And what I would like to do today, the link is here below in the uh, video description. It is well posted up onto my Swan Like Bigfoot Facebook page, the GoFundMe page for the camper, for the Bigfoot camper <laughs> is up. A big 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 shout out to Heather Heather got a hold of me informed me she had set up a GoFundMe page I haven't even gotten that far with this yet and you know I need to bring this up as well but there were points where I I was contemplating thinking about doing a GoFundMe page so that I could purchase a camper nothing big nothing fancy I'm looking at used I'm looking at small smaller because I've got to be able to maneuver and pull that thing into these areas that I go visit right I can't be pulling a you know a 20 foot 18 20 foot trailer into into these locations I view it as part of my gear right it is it is a part of my gear I'll need I think there's going to be some amazing things happen and I gotta fill them over there in a little bit oh my goodness um uh, uh, I'll explain in a bit there was about three or four days there where I was just like ah, uh, you know I was getting so much flack and people were people were giving me a hard time there were there was about three or four days there I was just thinking maybe I should just just forget about it and there was a lot of people just complaining about it and um, you know I think there might be a misconception I think a lot of people are thinking that GoFundMe is just for emergencies or if there's been some devastating event and you need to go fund family or or something like that it, it that's not all the GoFundMe is for it's for also raising money for a cause or for uh, something important right and this to me is very important but I was thinking about just dismissing it because I was getting all the flack and I was getting all the negative the negativity over even suggesting that I open up a GoFundMe page to try to get myself a camper. You know, I was thinking, just in one camp out for two nights, or even a night, a day, a night, and a day, or even two nights, three nights, I could get five, six, seven episodes out of that one weekend, or that one three-day camp out, or two-day camp out. And a lot of people say, well, we'll just grab a tent and go camp. It's not that simple, but two, three thousand dollars worth of equipment and cameras and batteries and, and what have you. And in a tent, and in these places I go to, there's grizzlies I gotta consider people. Like, I can't be stuck at that tent, right? So if I'm there in a two day camp out, I'll be leaving my camp with my truck and, and all that stuff, leaving my camp. I don't wanna leave anything there. And if I had a little trailer I can lock up, uh, it's a bit safer and as well I mean it's got to be comfortable for me too right it's got to be enjoyable for me and if say I'm there and all of a sudden we we're getting hit with a thunderstorm and rain um, I want to be dry and uh, there's a lot of things that I'm thinking about 
and that I've considered him where it comes to purchasing a small little camper. There was a few days there it was difficult and I was thinking, okay, I'll, you know, I'll just forget about it. We'll just do what we're doing. And uh, I mean, it's, it's been going pretty good, right? It's been going pretty good. And Heather gets a hold of me, one of my subscribers, and informs me that she opened a GoFundMe page. I was a little taken back because I had, I, I always, I, I was right at that point of just throwing the idea away. Forget it, right? Forget it. And somebody comes through. I mean, that speaks volumes to me and I'm sure it does to many of you. So she set up the GoFundMe page and this is good for the journey, good for the research. Uh, she's going to keep it open. Heather's going to keep that open, active. And we do have a goal set there. Hopefully we can reach that goal, but even if we, I mean, even if we get close, right? I can, I can get something pretty good. This is going to help the journey. This is going to help uh, the research. And as I mentioned before, there's so many times when I'm here, like here now, it's, it's the sun is slowly setting here. Almost 10 out of 10, I get to these places and I stay for about four hours. And then just as I'm wrapping up, they're coming and there's activity and there's uh, you, I shut those cameras off, folks, and they are very intelligent, they're very smart. There are times where I've shut my cameras off and things happen. Some of my um, most amazing encounters and experiences and vocals and what have you have been when my cameras are off. My point being is, it, it's just going to help the research, it's going to help us as we go forward. It's not a lot of money, it's a coffee, it's a donut. It's about these Sasquatch, right? It's about these Bigfoot. They are sharing and they're teaching us and I will share with you, right? I, I will share with you uh, as much as I can. And what I can't share with you with my camera, I will tell you. As I did just now when I was explaining most of the best amazing encounters and experiences and vocals and and all of those things happen when my camera's not on, right? I'm not filming 24 seven, but this is for me and for my family, this is day to day, week to week, year to year. This We've been experiencing Bigfoot for over 50 years. It's a big part of my life, more than most of my family, but they all believe anyway. Um, again, thank you again, Heather. Oh my goodness, she's up in Canada. She's in the east part of the country. And I was so surprised when she got a hold of that. It's been very interesting the last couple of days. Uh, going upriver, that's where I just came from here the other day. Now we're downriver. About, I'd say about seven miles downriver. Seven, eight miles downriver. But uh, they're here. Uh, they're here. <laughs> and they're, I'm sure they're listening and watching. Uh, which is very good. Which is very good. But anyway, again, please consider and uh, click on the link below it should be all there and ready um, let's do this right let's make this happen and it's it's you know it's not like it's just going to be used once or just to go and party up in uh in my trailer or something no this is uh this is it's for the channel and it will be for the locations i will use it quite often through the warmer months right when I can do it, I'll be camping. I will be camping. And I have to show you something because I've seen, I don't know, it's just like a cloak, but I got to see why. See, I, right there, right there. Hello? Yeah, it's beautiful here. Oh my, this is, this is, this is another one of those places I wished I could just get this few acres of land that are here there's probably about 80 acres in this area um, I think about a few about a mile north about a half a mile three quarters north there's a fence line and I think I think there's pasture there's like a wild that I when I come down the river hill to get here I always I'm pretty sure those are horses uh, on that northern end of this kind of this is kind of like a horseshoe in the river right so full of wildlife right here um, I was sitting here one time and right beside me 
coming through the trees. I didn't see it. I had a chair about 10 feet to my right. This coyote just decides to walk beside me and kept, kept wandering along the bank of the river. Uh, seen me, didn't care. Uh, it was good. It was a good day, right? They understand what you're there for. If you're not there for, if you're there for anything other than good, or good vibrations, good uh, intentions, they're, they're, they'll either not be there or they'll let you know uh, they don't like it, right? I just heard a footstep. I'm kind of excited for this. I feel good about it. I hope, as as I mentioned, Heather said she would. It's an should keep it running, keep it open so that we can reach the goal. There's no rush to do this to get to reach that goal, but hopefully we can reach the goal or get close to it. I have something to show you here. And I, I didn't notice this walking in and oh my goodness, my leg just went to sleep. My leg is sleeping. Ah, it's starting to uh, tingle. <laughs> uh, starting to tingle now. All right. Okay, I want to show you these brakes. And this here, as I was talking to you, it's an arch, but there are like three, I would say three pieces to it woven together. Okay, as I was talking, these willows right in the front of it, they all start just swaying. There's no wind. Uh, there's a tiny, tiny little breeze. I'll show you the leaves here. See them barely moving. That's all we got in here for a wind. But those branches in the front there, they just start flopping back and forth. It, it kind of threw me off of what I was kind of, uh, I lost concentration on what I was talking about. But yeah, I don't know. I didn't see a bird, but I also heard that, that twig snap, right? So, and there are more arches back there. Lots of the arches in here, back in that, back in those trees. Yeah, so I don't know what that was. I couldn't tell other than I heard the twig snap and uh, wood knock and those branches were just flopping around. So, kind of interesting. It's beautiful here. Sound of those rapids, right? Oh my goodness! Did you get to sleep in here in my teepee. <laughs> That's one of the things I thought of too with the trailer. I would put my teepee poles up on top of my. I'd haul them on top of my camper, my camper trailer, and I would bring a teepee along too for those nice nights, hot nights. I would sleep in my teepee. We do have a teepee. My mother was a teepee maker, so was her 
mother and her grandmother and her great 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 grandmothers they were all teepee makers they were all very good at it too and I did I was able to learn that from my parents from my and from my elders how to make a TV uh, I may do that one day and I'll film it for you all we'll make a TV I'll, and I'll I'll teach you guys how to set up a TV and why they do the things they do and make it the way they make it and the things you don't do in a teepee and uh, <laughs> the do's and don'ts uh, we can do that as well there is a teepee etiquette there is oh we were very much taught uh, teepee manners right there's things you just didn't do in the teepee uh, um, hang on. I could sort of see something move behind the tree. There. Hmm. Okay, you guys watch there. I'm gonna do a few whistles. If I got enough zoom here. Oh goodness, don't oh. and my battery's going in the yellow. Just stay watching there for a minute. Oh my goodness, you know what? I'm seeing and hearing stuff all around here, so uh I swear I keep seeing movement on the other side of my truck. You know, remember, this is where they come and touch my truck, right? But I will come back. I did. Uh, I need to come and leave some gifts here, right? I didn't have my my gift bag because I had thought I could do this at the lake, and of course. I don't gift there at the, you know, that's where everybody camps and there's picnic tables, boat launch, what have you. Fish cleaning station, lots of bear. They come there for all those, they try to get into that, that fish cleaning station, right? But um, it was a good thing. It was the right thing to do. We will be coming back. Uh, I might just um, come back here in a couple days and leave some gifts before I head up to the White Birch Clan. I hope you guys come on board. 
I think we can do this. I believe we can do this, right? This is a good thing. And you guys will have, would have all helped me do this. I, yeah, you know, I need, we really need to come back. <laughs> I, I'm seeing so many structures back over here on this side back in there as far back as I can see lots of arches and that's where I was hearing the vocal where I heard both vocals it was in that forest on that side uh, wow okay behind the camera Twig snap. I'm coming back. <laughs> I'll bring you guys some goodies. I will. I promise. I will. I'll come back again. Uh, hello? Can you let me know where you are? Who's here? A wood knock? Something. still coming from that same area okay thank you Not as prepared as I was the last time I come down into the river, but uh, I got had my camera, have my good camera, and it was a good day. It's a good day. So again, um, please, if you will, uh, consider the GoFundMe page, and thank you all for being here. If there's anybody new that's come on board, I appreciate you being here. Thank you, and. Uh, yeah, see, here we go. I'm hearing all kinds of stuff <laughs> as I'm getting ready to leave. But we will be coming back. I'm gonna come back here and leave the gifts on the gifting site at this place as well. This is a beautiful place. And the clan here is a little bit, um, they're not as afraid. Do you hear that? Where are you? The walking. The walking. Yeah, um okay you guys right behind me. Um they're not as afraid. They seem to be um a little bit more or less concerned. And I think because this is like it there's nothing back here. Nothing. Just a trail. And uh, I think maybe, I don't see any camping spots. I haven't seen come onto any fire pits or camping spots. So there's no hunting camps back up in here. And uh, it's just very, 
it's wilderness, right? And river. That's it. <laughs> uh, that almost sounds like running. Where are you? I hear you. I will come back. Okay, but yes, um, it's very secluded back in here, and it's it's kind of hidden away. It's a little hidden gem. Like I say, there's a horseshoe in the river, and I'm in that horseshoe. The only way to get in here is one trail, and it's just a trail, uh, and not a road. Okay, all right. Thank you again. Thank you all for being here, and I will see you in the trees. Stay tuned. Take care. Stay safe. Bye for now. All right.